Hello and welcome to part one of the Xiaomi Mi radio test. This is an updated version of the old, the original Xiaomi radio, which I have done a video one on the channel. So if you want to have a look at that first before you look at this, please feel free to do so. I had this radio for a little while and it arrived from AliExpress in just a couple of weeks. This was pre-lockdown though, so uh, your delivery times may vary nowadays. Um, there was nothing in the way of English instructions on the box or inside the box, so I was flying blind a little bit here. But anyway, on first impressions, the unit feels nice and well made in the usual Xiaomi way. And um, the difference with this radio being the dot matrix display uh, versus the original LCD type screen on the first radio. Uh, they have micro USB charging and an earpiece on the side there. They do offer Bluetooth connectivity to Bluetooth enabled devices, but not for PTT use, only for the audio side of it. And it will share the location with another unit. I've only got one in this test example. You can see here how the radio compares to the original radio. It's much slimmer uh, form factor and obviously quite a lot lighter. Although the original radio does have more features and covers a better range of frequencies. This has a fixed antenna unlike the original radio which has a removable antenna this may or may not be a deal breaker for you if you're considering purchasing this radio however for me i was more or less looking for this as a handy sort of uh, pmr style radio to use but more of that later anyway the dot matrix screen you'll see the difference here between the two as i turn them on and you'll hear the difference in sound as well so I haven't really touched the original radio since I've uh, used it, but I do like the way these radios look. Um, they're certainly very eye-catching, if not perhaps the most practical of radios. Now, they are very similar in terms of styling, but very, very different in terms of operation. Uh, but they both do use an app, which is similar, uh, uh, and this app would need to be downloaded from uh, a third party. Uh, which I'll show later. It comes with a, a bicycle handlebar mounting bracket. That's the first time I've seen that for a radio. Uh, not sure I'd be using that too often. As mentioned, the manual is in uh, is in Chinese. Uh, that's fine if you're Chinese. If you're not, then uh, you'll have to use some kind of translator app, as which is what I did, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, the screen is nice and shiny, no scratch marks, which is nice to see. That often isn't always the case with Chinese radios. And the weight difference was, was quite noticeable in the pocket. You could certainly put that in a shirt pocket, whereas this one would definitely be feeling its weight a little bit in the shirt pocket. So anyway, I dropped in uh, Google Translate, which is a very useful Android app. And I, I don't know if it's on uh, the iOS uh, system, but I use this to navigate my way around the menus enough to get it working which pointed me in the direction of the, the Mi Walkie Talkie app, which you can download and install using the QR code on there, which will point you to the website. You have to enable your phone, so it will download from third and let you install third party apps. If you're concerned, do what I did here and install it onto a, a phone you don't use daily, an old phone, which is what I did here. As I, I'm only gonna use this app to program in the basic frequencies. So anyway, um, connecting up, you push and hold the uh, the Bluetooth button on the side, which puts the uh, the walkie talk into pairing mode, as you can see there. And uh, once you've got the into pairing mode, bear in mind the voice prompts are all English until you change them. So it quite quickly found the uh, the walkie talkie there and enabled it. And the first thing that it hinted that I needed to do was to update the firmware which is very easy to do, as I'll show you. Now, changing the channels on the phone will change them on the radio, and vice versa, they will reflect what channel it's on. The radio is constantly talking to the phone via Bluetooth, which is how it does its sharing feature. So the firmware update is very, very quick. Uh, it didn't take too long to perform, and I put what I would consider to be the latest firmware on to the radio. There are probably hacked firmwares you can install on this, which um, do other things, but um, I've kept this stock and standard uh, just for the purposes of the review. So you can see there, there is a public channel settings. Now, the there are 60 total channel banks on this, which is a little bit confusing. There are 
the public channels, which you can like the family radios in China. There are 20 preset channels for ham radio frequencies, and there are 20 customizable channels, which you can add in your own channels. Uh, which doesn't make this that flexible to use. It rather does limit you to what you can do with it. Um, and obviously with it only being a simple dot matrix display on the radio itself, um, you can't um, put any custom names in, unfortunately. The custom names will only appear in the app and not on the screen. So it is very limited, but you might have noticed from the the uh, my nattering in this review so far that there is one big problem and that problem being is that you can't you you can only edit the ctcss tones of the other channels and you cannot enter in any uh, pmr channels or any frs channels on this radio it's not possible it doesn't go up high enough in frequency it tops out at 440 meg which for me is an absolute deal breaker. They've uh, they've really shot themselves there. But anyway, I, I put in a, a test frequency, 433, 525, just to do a radio test with. And the supplied USB cable is incredibly short as well, uh, next to no use whatsoever. But there's no missing when it's on charge. That basically stays on the display. And this is where I stumbled into the problem with the PMR. I hadn't noticed that it only goes up to 4, your first 40 problem. meg programmable there, you see. So you can't use these for PMR. There may well be a uh, version of the firmware out that lets you do this. But anyway, the, the app lets you do other limited things. I'm whizzing through this quickly because it's a little bit boring. You can change out the timeout timers. You can decide whether you want to share the location or not. Do your firmware update. You can connect to your... Um, Bluetooth um, headset if you would like to do that as well um, uh, busy channel lockout basic you know radio settings that you would do on software normally uh, with software and a lead you can do here on the app which is a nice feature double press this is the FM, FM radio volume flashing press the middle button and then it'll scan. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this. Join us tomorrow for the second part where we take it out to the field and do a full-on field test. Thanks for watching.